Mr. Otter Studio. Today we are going to be doing part two of watercolor butterflies. In part one, we learned how to draw butterfly wings, and in part two, we are going to learn how to paint them with watercolors. These are the supplies that you'll need, and the first one I just wanna talk about because it can be dangerous. One of the ways you can decorate butterfly wings is by using a scraffito technique, and that is where you use something to scratch into the surface. So I'm going to be using a push pin. If younger children are doing this tutorial, they may want to use a toothpick instead of something this sharp. I wanna make sure if there are any kids doing this tutorial that they're really careful with this step. Paper, I'm using the Strathmore watercolor paper. It's not the best, but it is better. You need watercolors. I'm using a Prang eight color watercolor set water. And I'm going to be using these two brushes. These are made by Winsor & Newton, and this is a number 10, this is a number five. Make sure you just use what you have. You don't have to go out and buy all of these things. Use whatever watercolors you have and use whatever brushes you have. You can use a pencil if you need it to sketch out your butterflies. I'm going to be using a pen and I'm going to be using this Micron Pigma pen and this is a 05 and these are made by Sakura. I would use two different sheets of watercolor paper, one just to practice on and then one to paint your butterflies and paint in the background. You can paint a background like this where you leave the edges all nice and loose or you could use tape and then it would have this kind of effect. This is a picture that I printed of a butterfly. And if you want to do this type of edge, you can use some masking tape. Also, one supply I forgot to say to mention is paper towel. Make sure you get a paper towel, this comes in handy. All right, here are some quick tips for you. If you are going to be painting these with younger children, or you are younger, or this is a little bit, these are complicated for you, just practice one butterfly. You could also make it bigger. It's gonna be a lot easier to paint and maybe easier for you to draw if you draw it bigger and if you paint it a little bit bigger. So let's just draw a few different butterfly wings together, paint them in, and then I think you should do the composition of the butterflies on your own, and I will give you some tips. All right, so let's begin. You can do this part in pencil or in pen. I'm going to be using this waterproof pen. Make sure it's waterproof or else when you paint the watercolor over the top, it's going to bleed. So let's start with the middle one. All right, and again, watch this tutorial if you need more instructions on drawing the butterflies. So this one, I'm just gonna do the classic one I did before where you draw a teardrop coming out of the middle. And then this butterfly, I'm gonna show you a really simple wing technique that I showed in the other tutorial where we just draw some shapes around the edges. And in this wing, we're going to use the Y technique. So the Y technique, you just start by drawing a Y. And then out of this Y, you're going to draw more Ys. This is also a great way to draw leaf patterns. So these are our practice butterflies and you can draw the wings however you want. We're going to start with the Scraffito technique and we're gonna use whatever pointy thing you have. You can use a toothpick, you can use a pin, you can use a needle. And what I'm going to do, just like I drew the Y patterns in this wing, I'm going to draw the Y patterns into my paper using the pointy edge of my push pin. And I'm just gonna do the exact same technique. I'm just gonna push in and draw my Y. And I'm just gonna draw more Ys and I'm just pushing them into the paper. So let's go over this Scraffito technique. Use your push pin to push a pattern into the wings. And on these wings, I'm using this Y pattern that I used on this butterfly that's over here. When you paint the wings, make sure you're not painting the wings too dark, unless you want them to be black. But if you paint them too dark, you might lose all of your nice details that you had in there. And once you've done that, let's go ahead and paint the wings in. So this one, we're going to be using a blue violet. I'm going to be making a puddle. And also, I use my paper towel sometimes just to test my colors out. All right, now let's see if this works. So we're just gonna start painting the wing in. And wherever I have scratched, it should gather the paint and it should be a little bit darker. And then you might want to add a little bit more color and put that in on the edges of your wings or on the inside. This works a lot better if it's all wet. So if it's dry like it kind of is in this one, I'll show you a little trick. Rinse your brush off, blot it off a little bit, and then you can take that damp edge and just go along these edges and soften them up a little bit. And this is a, just a great technique. I think it works so well for butterfly wings and for leaves, anything where you want this texture. In these wings, let's try to go from orange into yellow. So we're going to do a gradient wash. So let's mix up our colors over here. I'm mixing it up in my tray. Get the orange in there. And then I'm gonna make a puddle of my yellow right here. 
This technique works really well if you work while your paint is wet. We're gonna start at the top and move down. So we're gonna start with our orange. I'm trying to keep it right here in the center. And I'm slowly gonna start to add yellow. And then I'm going to just add solid yellow right down in here. And let's try the same thing on this side. So we're going to start with our orange. And then as we move down, we're just gonna start adding yellow till we just get to completely yellow. With this one, we have to make sure we're not painting it so dark that we can't see the patterns in the wings. So I don't know, maybe this one could be light yellow. And if you get too much water, just use your paper towel to blot your brush off. And then you can choose, of course, whatever color you want for the top of these wings. And maybe I will choose a purple with a little bit of red. It's kind of nice to paint these all at the same time so I can wait for this to dry before I add some details to it and this one to dry. Now I want to start adding some black accents to this one. And you can paint the body of the butterfly whatever color you want. But I am going to use my solid black on the edges of these wings. So I'm just going to go around the edges first. And I'm just trying to find any of these lines. I'm going to take my brush and go into them. And then I'll use my smaller brush to make more of these detailed lines inside and go around some of the edges of your butterfly to give it a little bit of depth as well. While I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm just going to add some more color to this one right here, some bright red. And to get more of a saturated color, I'm gonna get the water off of my brush and dip right into my red. Then take whatever color you want and, and paint the body of this one. You just want to make sure you don't have two wet colors next to each other or your black will bleed into the wings or your orange will bleed into the body of the butterfly. And let's go ahead and paint the body of this one blue. So this one's starting to get dry around the edges. So now I'm going to take my black and I'm going to paint in this area around these dots. And you can use masking fluid in these areas if you have it. Also make sure your brush isn't too wet when you do this part. To clean, to kind of clean my brush off and get that point back. And with all these little dots down here, I just like to make a little loop around. Also, you can use that black to outline the middle part of the butterfly. You can put some patterns inside of the wings if you want to. So you could keep this area white, or you could paint it in black, and I'm just going to use my black. You don't have to use black. You can use, of course, whatever color you want. Paint these in however you want. You don't have to stick with the leaf pattern and dot, right, and these stripes. You can do some really cool zebra patterns on them, a stripe, and then in this wing, you know, maybe we could do a little area that comes out from the center that is black instead of at the edge. There's a nice little area in here. So there are a few different ways to paint in the butterfly wings. The person who requested this tutorial wanted to paint butterflies with a background. You could do it like this and paint a background around these. You could paint three different ones and put your background around those. So now what you can do is draw three to five or seven butterflies on a paper. When you're drawing or painting a bunch of things on a page, you wanna think about composition. And all of these rules can be broken that I'm going to tell you, but I'm gonna tell you them just in case they're helpful to you. Instead of painting two butterflies, paint three. Odd numbers tend to look better than even numbers, so instead of two, do three. Instead of four, do five. Also, change the size of some of them. If you have one that's really small, you want to make it really bright because it could just get kind of lost in your background, which maybe you want. Contrast can help a lot. Like in these wings, there's a lot of contrast. So now draw three to five butterflies on a paper and then choose one color to fill in the background. So you can draw this first in pencil and then draw it in pen. You could just keep it in pencil. It's totally up to you. So now using the drawing butterfly techniques and the painting techniques, draw three to five butterflies on your paper and fill in the background. I'm not going to instruct you on this one. I'm not going to do steps, but I will show you what I did in fast motion so you can kind of see the different steps that I took. So go ahead and get started. Draw them first and then paint them. And what you wanna do is paint your background very last and make sure your butterflies are dry so that parts of the wings aren't going to bleed out into it. I don't want this color to bleed into my background, so I'm going to leave a little white road in some places around it. I'm gonna mix up a ton of this blue. If you are painting a big area, you want to have enough color to cover the whole area. So mix up a big, big puddle if you're doing a background. You could do it a solid blue, you could add a little bit of green to tone it down. It's up to you. You could add a little green because you love green. Okay, so I'm just testing this on my paper towel. That looks like an okay color. So here I go with my background and I'm gonna start from the top and move down to the right. If you're left-handed, you can start on the right and move to the left. 
So I'm just going along the edges with water on my brush to kind of make it a little bit more faded and less abrupt. So rinse your brush, blot it on the paper towel, and then you can come around the edges. So I'm just going along the edges with a damp brush. While it's drying, clean your tray out and your brushes. And there you go. If you are the one who requested this tutorial, I hope this is what you were looking for. I hope you enjoyed drawing and painting butterflies with me. Have a wonderful day and we will see you around on YouTube. <laughs>